What is up? This is your LA in a minute. If you've been on a date in Los Angeles, odds are you've been to the Cheesecake Factory. Did you know the first one was opened in Beverly Hills in 1978? Let's get into the history. So though Cheesecake Factory is LA's own, it all started in Michigan in the early 1940s when Evelyn Overton, a home baker, stumbled upon a recipe for cheesecake in a local newspaper and decided to give it a shot. So that recipe, Evelyn Overton nailed it. Her family and friends loved it so much that they encouraged her to open her own bakery, which she did. And it didn't succeed initially, but she kept on baking and she was selling cheesecake from her basement to local eateries to help raise her two sons. One of those sons, David, left to San Francisco to attend law school, but it was the 60s and he joined a band, the Billy Roberts Blues Band, that was successful enough to open for Janis Joplin. However, he was still pining for that cheesecake and his mom was still baking, so he convinced his parents to move out to Los Angeles to open a bakery. In 1972, Oscar and Evelyn moved to Woodland Hills, where they opened the Cheesecake Factory Bakery, in which they produced cheesecakes and sold them around town to local restaurants. So selling to local restaurants wasn't terribly successful and the business was middling for a while. So in 1978, with backing from his parents, David decided to open a small salad and sandwich shop featuring 10 flavors of the Overton's family cheesecakes. And by the way, the menu was only one page at the time. The cheesecakes were a smash and business boomed. They soon opened their location in Marina del Rey, followed by a location in Redondo Beach, which would be the precursor to the modern cheesecake factories with that outstanding decor. And by outstanding, I mean hideous, intentionally so. Take it from the restaurant's own designer, Kevin McCormack. If I try to describe what it looks like, you'll probably think it's one of the most horrible looking places around. French limestone floors, Egyptian columns, Victorian beadboard wood paneling, but it gets people talking. As does their extensive menu, spiral bound, 6,000 words, 250 items. It is done intentionally as a talk trigger to get people talking and discussing the restaurant. And all that talking led to some pretty serious revenue as they opened their first location outside of California in the early 90s and went public on the NASDAQ in September of 1993. They kept right on growing to the 308 locations today, including their first international location in Dubai in 2012. Now let's get back to that menu. It doesn't just have a ton of choices, but some huge portions with astronomic calorie levels. However, they say the portions are large because they want people to share and have experiential dining. Hmm. A single slice of that cheesecake has as much fat as a Pizza Hut personal pan pepperoni pizza and two Dairy Queen banana splits. It is a great company to work for as they've been on the Fortune 100 best companies to work for eight different times. Cheesecake Factory says they invented the phrase upscale casual dining and if you've been on a date there, you know exactly why. All right, LA, it's been a minute.